Tonight, 10 years later, a changed city. Residents who grew up in Cincinnati's toughest neighborhoods decide to make their city safer by becoming police officers. Here's 9 News anchor Brendan Key. Brendan? Clyde and Carroll in 2001, our city was forced to look itself in the mirror. But African-American police officers who grew up in the neighborhoods they were also patrolling saw both sides of the conflict in their own reflection. Ten years have passed in the blink of an eye, but make no mistake, Cincinnati is not the same city it was a decade ago. Just ask the black police officers who put on the white uniform to patrol the same neighborhoods where they grew up. Let's be honest, I was part of both teams. I couldn't escape my neighborhood. I went to I went to church in the neighborhood. I grew up in the neighborhood. I lived. I still live in the city of Cincinnati. So it was tough. Police specialist Scotty Johnson was one of the first officers assigned to community oriented policing or cop 10 years before the 2001 riots. There's a responsibility there. If you come from the neighborhood and you're serving in the neighborhood, then I think you have to give back. He walked a beat, number 102, the Laurel Homes of the West End. Getting out of the car, walking and talking, and actually trying to understand and address the issues and the concerns of the community. Now Officer Johnson is assigned to City Hall and the mayor's protection detail, but he still remembers the reaction of his friends in the neighborhood when they first saw him in that white uniform. The response most of the time was negative. I have to be quite honest because you're now part of a system that uh, some people in the community saw as being oppressive. Some saw me as Pat coming back to the neighborhood. Some saw me as a police officer, but not connected to the police department. Officer Pat Scott grew up in the Laurel Homes. After 23 years in the projects, she put on the badge of the Cincinnati Police Department and headed right back home. When I became a police officer, I really wanted to make a difference. And um, when I was in the police academy, I had already made up my mind that I wanted to come back to where I grew up. She, too, was one of the original 35 officers in the community-oriented policing program in 1991. They trusted us, and you got to have a trust in the community that you police. Then came April 2001. African-American officers were perhaps the only people in Cincinnati with a unique viewpoint of both sides in the conflict. Officer Johnson was president of the Sentinels, representing black police officers. I called a press conference and offered an apology to the citizens of Cincinnati for not being open on why we do what we do. I took some heat from both ends, the community and within the police department. The police department was forced to face its demons. Johnson saw it as an opportunity. Really to sit down and get a handle on why we were where we were as a city. We couldn't separate the community from the police because as a city, we were in trouble. Other cities and other police departments were slower to change following similar events of civil unrest. The 1992 Rodney King beating and the riots that followed rocked Los Angeles. But the LAPD was slower to change in the 10 years following that event. In fact, even though they tried community-oriented policing, the LAPD got more aggressive. And today, 19 years after Rodney King, they're still dealing with the consequences. I think what we did here was we took the bull by the horn and we said we have to do something. Police officers are measured by the number of arrests they make. Officer Scott measures her success by the number of children she's saved. I had a mother whose daughter got locked up for six months and every time she sees me you know what she tells me thank you for saving my daughter she's got her own business she's a hairstylist and every time i see her mother she says thank you for saving my daughter this city has changed two police officers who helped bring cincinnati back from the brink say it has changed for the better because of 2001 we as a police department have come a long way and I'm proud to say we're, we're the best police department in the country right now. Contrary to what some of our co-workers might have thought, we made a difference. We made a difference. Officer Pat Scott and Officer Scotty Johnson were in the same academy class back in 1986. So this November, they'll mark 25 years on the job. And they're both eligible for retirement this year. Scotty Johnson says he's not going anywhere because the city and its police department are still changing. Guys?
<laughs> nice story, Brendan. Very nice. Yeah. Changes over the last 10 years have been something to behold. The changes over the last 20 or 30 years have really been yeah. something to behold. Great story. True enough. Absolutely. Steve.